hit Mick and Salty and they sort of got both got pretty badly bruised legs. Um, and there was one or two waves there that, um, one wave that I managed not to catch and if we caught it would have been tears at the bottom and one wave that we did catch and there was tears at the bottom. <laughs> Last night, you know, when we jived, jived near the centre of the low and the waves are from all directions, very confused seaway and really hard on the boat, just like, you know, doing some landings that you just, you know, each landing, you know, I was driving through a few of them and you're just expecting someone to come to the hatch and say, oh, you've broken it, stop the boat, and no one came to the hatch. We knew Really on the transatlantic leg into Lisbon, we had to have a good one and we didn't. And, and this one, this one we just had to, had to do well. Um, so that's, that is really pleasing and, and you know, really deserving for the crew and for us to be good for the import and then on to Galway. And everyone's just shattered knowing that the finish line was where it was and we didn't have to push for days and days on end. It was just that real short sprint really and uh, yeah, it was hard work, exhilarating at times pretty scary at times but uh, yeah some of the best sailing around it is and it's something about this team you know we never give up we've always got a fighting spirit and we won't give up right till the end and as long as there's points available we'll be fighting hard to get them. So the 24 hour record was one that we uh, didn't want to lose that's for sure and starting this leg we didn't think we would have it would have been a threat but uh, you know we've had a, a fairly full-on 48 hours trying to retain it and we lost it for a short while I believe and uh, but it was big smiles on board when we got it back. A few of us got a few batters and bruises and um, we uh, had one stage where Nico got washed off the helm into Nick and Nick into me at the back of the boat and uh, Nick and I were a little slow in getting up so there's a few bruises coming through and I'm sure there'll be a, a few more that I don't even know I have yet. Yeah I mean like in one watch in the space of about half an hour I got washed off where I was standing on the aft pedestal um, twice to the end of my tether and then I was trying to be a backstop for Nico who was on the steering wheel. He took me out, I took Soldy out. So basically on deck there were four bodies lying on the floor and the boat was sailing itself at about 30 knots for a while. So physically, yeah, I think everyone on the boat's just knackered and sore. The physio's going to be pretty busy. <laughs> Was, that was unreal, to be honest. I got nothing but respect for the guys holding onto the steering wheel, especially last night. Like, unbelievable.